where today we're breaking down another fad diet. Today we're talking all about paleo, what it is, the premise of it, and what kind of things that it follows, a few things that it does right, but overall why it doesn't get my stamp of approval. So paleo follows about seven different things. It wants you to increase protein, it wants you to decrease carbohydrates and get your carbs from lower glycemic foods like berries or fruit or something like that. It wants you to increase your fiber intake, have a moderate amount of healthy fats in your diet, increase potassium but lower sodium intake, balance out the acidity of your diet by using alkaline foods, and increase your vitamin, mineral, and antioxidant intake through the foods that you are eating. So basically, no grains, no legumes, no refined sugar, no dairy, no processed foods, no refined oils, no potatoes, and no salt. So I don't think I have to convince you after that long list, this is another fad diet that's limiting a lot of different food groups. It does leave you with a lot of really healthy things in your diet, like fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and healthy fats. However, it's also limiting a lot of really healthy things, like legumes. And some dairy products can have a lot of good benefits for us. Grains, like whole grains, all of these things have a place in a healthy diet. But this diet wants to limit them because they weren't available to our ancestors. But by limiting those and limiting cereals and grains, we miss out on a lot of soluble fiber. So we get a lot of insoluble fiber from most vegetables, but soluble fiber can also be found in these grain products and legumes that we're missing out on. Soluble fiber is really important to help decrease cholesterol in our bodies and maintain a healthy GI tract. So limiting these healthy foods might actually not do us any favors. So while I'm not necessarily advocating for Fruit Loops at every meal, I am saying that there's totally a place for whole grains and legumes and peanuts and all of these things in our diet. Not to mention the fact that we live in a modern world now. For better or worse, we have a lot more access to food. And we celebrate with food and we gather with other people around food. And any diet that's trying to limit that and limit your access to those foods and therefore cause weird social situations and just put so much stress on you in those situations, that's not good. That's a fad diet that's causing a lot of limitations, a lot of mental stress, and that can overall hurt your wellness journey. Not to mention, this is a diet. Paleo on their own website promotes a lot of weight loss and totally getting rid of chronic disease. But I'm here to tell you that your weight doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your health, and there is a perfectly balanced, sustainable way to eat and to live in order to decrease chronic disease. You can still have cereals, you can still have legumes and dairy and all of these other things. So paleo is not a magic bullet and fad diets are not the way to increase your overall health. They are limiting and restricting and cause a lot of stress and obsession around what we eat. Instead, we should be eating a variety of foods, all kinds of different foods, and not labeling foods as good and bad, but instead enjoying them, overall decreasing your stress and your obsession around food and promoting overall wellness. Thank you for tuning into this breakdown on the Paleo Diet. I hope that was helpful to give you an overview of what the Paleo Diet is, a few things that it does right, like increasing fruit and vegetable consumption, but why it is still a fad diet and limits some really healthy foods in our diet. Deprivation and fad diets are not the answer to health. If this was helpful for you, feel free to share it with your friends and subscribe below so that you don't miss anything from the General Wellness YouTube channel.